Hello Lolas. So welcome to my channel. Thanks for peeping in. <laughs> Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It's that red subscribe button. And go ahead and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you feel inclined to giving me that fry money, go ahead and click the link in the description bar to join the chatter box. It is $1.99 to join and you must be at least 18 years old to join. All right, guys, so I have Puck Santana here. You guys know who Puck Santana is. Puck Santana is by Sweet Little Puckapoo. Um, he is the Puck sculpt, um, sculpted by Lillian Breville. He was painted, poured, and rooted by Claire Teller. Um, Puck has been with me the longest in my nursery. And for those that follow me on my Instagram, if you're not, go ahead and make sure you follow me on Instagram. And those that follow me on Facebook, um, you've probably seen that I had Puck up for sale again. I've done this periodically. I've done this from time to time. I've put him up for sale, changed my mind, put him up for sale, changed my mind. Um, and it's not that there's, you know, a lot of people like to say, you know, when they sell a doll that it's a bond lost or something like that. Usually for me, for the most part, I've had a few that I have had, you know, where I didn't, you know, care for the doll anymore or whatever. Um, but for me, um, most in most cases, I am still very much <laughs> bonded to my babies. I just want a new doll. Um, that is usually the truth. A lot of people like to make up excuses. My dog died, my cat need hip surgery, you know, that type stuff. I'm usually pretty straightforward. I just want to sell my doll type thing. So I had no particular reason for putting him up for sale other than the fact that um, I just feel like I I wanted a, another Clantella doll. That's the truth. However, um, it is very hard for me to let um, Puck go because... Puck was a custom baby, and he was painted just for me. And I feel like out of all the babies that I've gotten from Claire, he was painted probably the most to my taste. Um, and that still stands true for today. Um, I love, you know... Claire's painting, I think she does amazing. I've seen more than just the babies that's been in my collection. I've seen, oh my God, I've probably seen about 100 dolls painted by Claire Teller. Um, but for AA or light by, well, light AA or biracial skin tone, um, I don't see her doing this she changed her techniques a lot and so I really like this technique in the way that that he's painted um but that's the thing I'm very selfish and I just you know I collect for you know my babies I want them to be unique and so that's that's the thing I hate to let him go because I'm probably not gonna get the same paint style again I may get something different, might be better, may not be, but this is my taste. And so, you know, it's very hard. Um, he's Equiflex 20, so he's not the, the super soft. Um, he's the only um, biracial baby of this scope that um, Claire Taylor, Taylor painted. I believe she did paint a, maybe another one that was Caucasian. Um, but it's very rare and I don't see her painting Lillian sculpts anymore. Um, look like Lillian just strictly have her prototype artist painting for her now. Um, so I think he's very rare. He's still in 
top condition. He don't have any any flaws. Um, he has full of hair at the top and very thin hair in the back. Um, sometimes it gets a little messy and it looks a little crazy if it's not brushed because it's you know thinly rooted. But you can see he has all his hair. <laughs> um, but anybody that buys from me or deal with me knows that my dolls are kept in immaculate condition um, just because I don't I don't allow people to interact with my dolls and I don't do the most this with them um, but let me just get to the point um, once again I've decided not to to let him go um, you know, I slept on it, and it's not because I don't want to sell him. I still, a part of me do still want to sell him, but the only reason I'm, I wanted to sell him is because I wanted another, a new doll. And I cannot afford these new prices. I cannot afford the new dolls without selling a doll. So, I've just decided that I am just not gonna get one and that's just that I'm just not gonna end up with a new doll so um I even reached out to an artist about a reborn the other day and I was quoted a price that you know the for the quality of their work I will never say that it's not worth it but um I guess the artists don't do um they don't root anymore so it was for painted hair and it was quite pricey um so i'm not gonna quote the price and all that stuff and get into the details um because i'm a big fan of the artist and i'm not knocking the price but i was like oh my god i am so out of point and so i thought about something too i said you know what if i sell pup and don't end up with what I what I'm aiming to go after. So I didn't. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna play Russian roulette with something that I truly love. Um, and you know, we say we're content and we say we're happy and we like we're we're good with what we have and it's okay if we don't ever get a doll. But as collectors, we're collectors and top it off with women and women love to shop most of us and I'm one that do things very impulsive like I, I will think of something and I want to do it right in there's no no real rational thought process when it comes to this hobby anything else I'll take my time and think about it but but yeah so <laughs> So I just decided it just it just doesn't make sense. I think too, you know, um, like I was mentioning in the chatter box, and I'm not gonna go as deep as I did in there about it, but I was saying about look at his cute little feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I was saying how you know people were saying how they they're losing interest in in the hobby and stuff like that. I think sometimes. Two, I think some of us that are used to, you know, collecting and seeing new stuff and stuff like that. For me, sometimes it gets a little frustrating when the reality keeps setting in. And I keep trying to convince myself that there will be a way. I'm very picky. I know second market works for a lot of people. And I'm not saying that I won't buy second market because I will. I've been looking. I've been looking at second market. Um, but, um, I am very picky and I am very particular and I, I'm not going to say that I'm better than other people or anything like that. I'm just saying that 
I look for things that the average collector probably don't look for when buying. And so therefore it makes it much, that much harder for me to buy a second market. Um, so it's, it's going to be very hard for me to even buy another baby, even second market. Um, so with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm so used to buying directly from the artist and I, I did, I started out buying second market, so I'm not saying that I'm better than second market or anything like that because that's how I started out and I will buy second market. It was a Gabby Gale up for sale the other day and trust me, if I had the money to buy right then, I would have bought it because I really want to bring a, another Gabby Gale into my collection. But, um, I think sometimes it gets frustrating for me because everything is, uh, above me now way above me and I don't feel here's the thing I just for my current situation I don't feel like it's the responsible thing to do to spend over a certain amount now because of everything else that I have going on in my personal life so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put dolls over you know family and other real obligations I have no obligations to the dolls so that's that's where it's at so I I think you know it does kind of mm, changes up things it's a game changer for for me a little bit but I have to just learn to to get over it right um you know if I look back 10 15 years ago um, cars and everything else was a whole bunch cheaper too and that's changed so you know the world evolves and things move things things change and prices go up period done <laughs> so um, all I can say is if you are in the same boat as I am you probably want to do like I did, you know, think very hard before you you go to swapping out. But I do believe in in, in selling to, to upgrade or, or change, make a change. And I, I, there's no other sculptor or painter that I love work more than Claire Teller. That's, that's the truth. But I am thankful. I have now my vital babies, my twins and Hannah and Hunter because I did change her name to Hannah and I have you know Puck that's painted by her not sculpted by her and then I have my Noah Pooh so um I may also be feeling a sense of uh loss too because some of you guys I don't know if you guys know but my private baby Alex which is April by Claire Teller um is actually going to my mom very soon um actually christmas so i won't have a girl silicone baby anymore and um it is my gift to my mom my mom is finding you know comfort in a hobby and she really loved that baby a lot and so that's what i chose to do um so no explanation needed. Um, so that is that. Um, I have been working on some babies, but I kind of got a little distracted with the holidays. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself at this point. Um, like I said, I thought... I can't buy silicone, so I go buy me a Reborn. And then I price Reborns, and I'm just like, oh my God. It looks like I just got to paint my own Reborns. I got to paint my own um, silicone babies. And even with that, I only can probably afford to buy me like one kit and then paint that. And um, 
be done. Um, I can't I can't afford to just keep buying kits either because they're very expensive too. So I have to sell my reborns to pay for my silicone kit and then I'll paint it myself. I think that's gonna be my new goal. That way I don't have to lose someone that I love and um that is very unique to my collection. So again, forgive me again. I am very bipolar when it comes to my uh buying sell impulse. So no, he will not. Oh, let me take these off. I just had them on because um, it matched his little outfit. But yeah. So. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, so Quack is here. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.